Tracy and can't even hear you. Tracy. There you go. And Tracy up at the UP house. I uh, don't mind the mess. What is Tracy doing? Tracy is trying to put things up to be more organized. That's not on the line, you know. You? You're on the line on one side, but not on the other. No, seriously. I know, but I'm trying to get these lined up so they go in here. You just go do your stuff. Yeah, but now you have holes where it can't, where it shouldn't be. Huh? Don't get, don't get grumpy. These holes are for the bottom one. You have to snap it up in there first before you connect them. Sounds like she knows what she's doing, but it's still crooked. <laughs> Anyways, what am I working on today? She's working on putting shells. She says nothing. She says she's working on putting up shells in the closet because we need to get clothes and stuff all hung up and everything and get more organized it's kind of messy up in here we just kind of brought a bunch of stuff so i brought i bought these shelving stuff and she's gonna put shelves all up in there and one of them is gonna be a hanger for hanging up clothes so she's trying to get the closet organized so we could put things away and she's sticking her tongue out at me so what i'm working on today is kitchen cabinets and i'm gonna tell you guys right now that even Tracy said that she watched a video on the bathroom, and and I've gotten a lot of comments. Wow, that is the smallest bathtub I've ever. It's got to be the camera. Uh, the bathroom is six feet long. I can lay down in it. it well, not six feet. It's sixty inches. Um, you know, I lay down in it, and you know, it's a regular size bathtub. I don't know what it makes it look like on the camera that it looks so small and stuff, but it's a regular bathtub. But I can tell you that this in here, it's probably looking really small, but I'm going to tell you it is really small. <laughs> so basically, I'm going to build cabinets all along here so I can put my countertop. It's going to be all kinds of cabinets here. There's going to be cabinets on the wall and everything for storage. And then there's going to be a countertop, and i got to make it so it fits up over the top. So, and then there's also going to be a countertop over here. There's going to be a cabinet between the stove and the refrigerator. And, you know... Of course, I gotta build all custom cabinets, right? Ha. There was a ha. <laughs> I decided, you know what? I want more time to play and less time building stuff. So I actually went to Menards and I bought all pre made kitchen cabinets. So there they all are. They're like $80 a piece or something. And you can see them all sitting in here. And I think I have them all the right ones that they'll actually fit all inside there. There's going to be one spot where I got to do some little customization. But I think that I have them all. There, we need more of them, but this is a good start. Um, some of the wall ones I'm not going to have. But I didn't have no more room in my truck. But they should all sit right here. I bought the one that goes where the sink is. Then there will be a 12-inch one. There's going to be a corner one with a... Um, a lazy Susan thing inside the cabinet that spins so you can utilize that whole corner then there's gonna be a 24 inch one and then there's gonna be nothing over here I'm gonna be framing this out and putting wallboard stuff up in there that'll go around that whole corner down there that will all just be screwed in and we're gonna paint it and if we need to service this uh, pressure tank for the water system just some screws and all the panels will come off and we'll be able to get right to it so yeah Pretty simple stuff. So what I had to do, it's kind of messed up because I actually went online when we were talking about doing this and I was like, I'll build all cabinets, custom stuff. And then I was like, you know, I was at Menards and I saw the cabinets and they're like $80. They go anywhere from like $59 to like, I think the most expensive one, the Lazy Susan corner one was the most, that was 179 bucks. But they were all, I mean, that's pretty cheap guys. I bought all the cabinets that I bought and it ended up costing me seven or uh yeah, seven hundred and like fifty bucks or something like that. You know, by the time you do all the wood and uh, it, it fine, it's fine. It, it just makes it a lot easier. And that way it gets outside and I can do more playtime, right? Yep. Yep. She's itching to go snowmobile. 
So, I'll bring a cabinet in here and drop it in. You guys can see what's going on. Well, guys, we got the some of the cabinets dropped in. I uh, got the cabinets dropped in here. This is uh, where the sink is going. I'm just up to there where I'm going to drop the sink in. Got that cabinet there put in. This is just all drawers. Pretty simple. They're all pre-made. Just put them in there and put some screws in. So really nothing to show you guys. Got the two ones up here. Big 24 inch ones. And then we got a corner one here. Then I'll mount it in, and then this one down here is a uh, one of those lazy Susan things, where she spins around. And then we got another one down here with a drawer and everything else too. So pretty good size. Actually getting getting going here. Now I gotta drop this sink in. And uh, I'm doing this quick. I'm going to hook it all up and everything so we have that functioning. And then I just have to cut the small countertop over here. I will not have enough countertop to do the window thing right now. And I, I will be getting another counter, another thing probably here. Probably a 12-inch one or something. And then they make a skinny one that can go above the sink. I think I'll put one of those up there. But pretty much this here is pretty simple, guys. It just... It comes with this template here. You put it down where you want to cut it, mark it on there, drill a couple holes, use the jigsaw, cut it out, drop the sink in. I, I, really nothing to it. So I'm just gonna get going on this. Yeah, uh, somewhere back there. Here's Mr. Drunk Carpenter himself. We're gonna see uh, he can mess booger up. We are going out snowmobiling today. We got my two daughters. They're on the black machines. Tyler's gonna ride my my summit over there. And then there is the we don't know what to call it. She thinks she has a name, she's picking one. But then I got my bike running. I call that princess. You can shut that thing off, you know, Tyler. Put some stuff in your bag. All right, come here, Tyler. Get off, Sammy. Get off, Sammy. Allie. Allie, whatever your name is. <laughs> Get on there, Tyler. Me? Get on there. How do you ride an off-trail snowmobile? No, just just settle down. Settle down now. We most, now I'm teaching you guys, okay? We mostly stand up like that. You're standing up, a little bit of pressure on the handlebars. If you want to make a left hand turn, what do you do? You lean, you don't have to go all the way over there. Okay, that, he's acting stupid. Okay, but you just kind of lean, a little bit like that, and that'll help you, okay? If you're sitting down, what you can do and stuff, you can sit down, but then, you know, lean within stuff, you're going to have to take it slower and stuff, but when you're going to get into some uh, bigger bumps where it's going to feel like it's going to tip over, you stand up and lean. If you if you have to by necessity, then you get off, do, do the wrong foot forward. Nope, wrong foot forward. Put your other foot up. There you go. That's wrong foot forward. Okay? And that makes it tip. And you can set it on edge and go if you're going to feel like you're really going to tip. You can do that. And as soon as you get off or whatever, then you can jump back on it. You just jump. See, just like that. You just jump right back on it. He's been once, and I'm going to tell you right now, he sucked. But he, but he, but he's a t-shirt model. I figured he'd work good for this. <laughs> All right. These are nice machines. Not as nice as no, it's not as nice as that. What, what kind of name have we thought up? TT? I don't know. There's got to be talk about it. But she's been looking at your names and stuff. All right. So, does anybody want to try to snow bike in the yard before we take off? Come on, Alan. Can you like jump on first? Do it. 
You want me to do it quick? Okay, I'll do it. Um, I'll bring you guys back. I got my other cameras. I got him a camera. He can do some recording for his channel, but I'll bring you guys back when we're riding here and there. See ya. Are you feeling as confident now? It's recording. Yeah, you told me to look out for that. <laughs> I pulled my boot right off. So that was a lesson on what not to do. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't go over the hump. So then you can do it? You can do it. Pretty confident, Allie. You've been talking a lot of game. She regrets talking all that. <laughs> you talked a big game, Allie. Jump on. Gotta let her sit for a second. You might want to get her be past the propane tank. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's probably a good idea. Yeah, you yeah, can move guys we just did a pit stop at the house we're just doing a little uh, getting a little beverage letting everybody use the bathrooms and uh, everybody's got their feet their shoes all kicked off getting them warm again I gotta change the camera hey guys I actually screwed up the camera when I was recording on a riding I pushed on photo burst <laughs> And didn't get any recording. If you want to check out some riding videos, go over to the Drunk Carpenter. He actually will be putting out a video right after this one. And it will show the riding that we did. He he got some good footage and it's some pretty funny stuff. So he's putting together that video. So you can go over there and enjoy that. Alright, we're back. We've done a day. I actually have a birthday coming up. You can see all the stuff up there. This is Big Papa. He is a subscriber, and you guys can all say hi to him on YouTube. Say hi to him in the comments. This is Big Papa. He's a subscriber. Up, he lives up here, and he lives right by Braga. <laughs> He's smiling because I say that. I say it wrong. But um, <clears throat> we're back, and I felt pretty good because everybody's commenting how I have a birthday and how I'm getting old. But all these young pups, they're all up here just complaining and whining about how sore they are. Oh, so bad. I feel good. I'm ready to go. She's over there laughing. <laughs> you guys, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to tell you a secret. Go ahead. I don't care. I'll, I'll even give it a picture. Oh, she's going to give me the picture. She's going to send me the picture. I did not record. And Tracy had an incident. Just a wee one. Just a wee one. She stuck the brand new snowmobile in a tree. So we'll put that picture in there. We don't really know why it happened. I saw it happen, and I just went, why did that just happen? <laughs> And I took off and flew over there, and she was laying there, and I'm like, you okay, you okay? Yeah, how's my snowmobile? <laughs> that was the first question. <laughs> I'm fine. My elbow's broke, but well, how's my snowmobile? <laughs> but yeah, she riding that snowmobile right up a tree. So here's the question of the day. 
Is there a winner for the contest? Yes, but I have to. I have to go on and look. Oh, are you kidding me right now? You're gonna I keep. I don't know the name. You're I'm gonna keep putting this. All right, she has chosen a name, I guess. So. Actually, chosen <clears throat> one that can't be said. Oh, oh, okay. There was a name. She named it something after it went up a tree. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> we can't talk. We can't say that on YouTube. But I did pick a name. Yes. But she did pick a name, and I guess we'll do it in a future video and find out who the winner is of the free T-shirt. All right, so I'm gonna let you guys go. I guess the happy birthday stuff is for me. We got back here having a cocktail, and we made up some hamburgers, had some dinner. Now everybody looks like they're gonna fall asleep. <laughs> all these young pups, they just you know can't handle all this exercise, I guess. But they got their but they got their Fitbits, you know. We were wearing them today. <laughs> I took mine off because I was scared I was gonna smash it. Good thing because I flipped. Right? She was not happy about flipping either. Just to let you know, she was not happy. She was she was walking away from it. She was angry. <laughs> but we made her back. So I'm gonna let you guys go. Hope everybody out there is having themselves a great day, great night. You watch this video. If you're not, try it all over again tomorrow. And run your snowmobile right up a tree. That'll make you feel better. See you. <laughs>